Oh, whoa, okay, whoa. Man, I really like this shirt in pink. I was kind of a, it was a maybe, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ah, you know, not bad. I dig it. <laughs> Shaved finally again. I was growing out the beard for a bit, but I don't know, guys. Like, I try, but it's just like the dysphoria just hits me too hard. <laughs> yep, we're set up here. Bam, bam, bam. Day now. Got the water. So guys, it's gonna be a fun video today. Fun vid for everyone. Oh, my friend Bree just texted me. Give me a yo. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're ready. Hair's looking flowy today. Got the got the navy, navy pink shirt on. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, notes. Notes. This was a good one. You guys uh, filled out a little survey for me of what age you guys came out as. So we're gonna be going over some results today, if you know what I mean. But ready? I think we're. I think we're good. Mike's. Mike's there. Mike is ready. Mike. Mike. Check one, two. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. We're recording. Recording. Bam. Guess what, guys? I think it's time. I think it's time. Yeah. Action. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Downey here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already, at SamDowney44. Yeah, that's at SamDowney44, you know what I'm saying? Hit that follow button on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram stuff. Uh, yeah, also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, youtube.com slash SamDowney. Y'all know what's up. Best non-binary trans YouTube channel out there. You know, we're all chill, we're all awesome, we're all open-minded. Yeah. You know you want to do that. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord server. Uh, you know, it's, we got some, God, we got we got a cool crew going on. We also got mods now. We got mods and everything like that. So it's not it's not uh you know it's not that awkward moment that happened the first day that I literally opened up the Discord and then I went to work for four hours and someone spammed the whole chat. But you know we're over that now. We got mods. We got it going. So make sure to join the Discord server if you want to interact with me and other subscribers as well. Cause uh, yeah, it's always a fun time. You know what I'm saying? We're all jokes. Basically today um, is going to be a video on, I asked you guys to fill out a quick survey about a month ago, I would say, about what age uh, did you come out as trans or non-binary. Now this could include like, you know, if you just came out to a couple of people, like what age do you come out to a couple of people, or if you're out publicly, like on social media and everything like that. Because I understand, you know, some trans and non-binary people, they're only out to like loved ones and people they know. They're not out on like social media and like super open like me, right? Like I get it. Like that's not every trans trans person's journey, you know? It's kind of funny because, like, uh, I find a lot of cis people, I think they kind of get confused when, like, you know, there's more, like, shy, non-binary and trans people, and it's like, dude, not everybody wants to talk about growing boobs. Like, literally. I do, though, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna be going over the results today. Um, I got 73 responses, which is pretty good, guys. Um, you know, uh, the last couple of sur sur surgeries, the last couple of surveys that I've done, I've only gotten, like, maybe 50 to 60 responses, but 73 responses is pretty good. Uh, so thanks so much for everyone that fills out those surveys. I really do appreciate it. And I like doing videos like this because, you know, I like knowing uh, stuff about my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I like knowing about you guys. You guys are chill. <laughs> so we're just going to go over uh, some of the results today. I guess I'll start with, uh, we're going to start with, you know, the lowest age demographic and then go up to the highest age demographic as well. And we'll go through all of them and just like my opinion on it. Just, uh, just to like warn everyone. Uh, sorry, I kind of sound a little bit like stuffed up. I'm honestly not really feeling that well today. I think it's like allergies and stuff. I've been like sneezing like crazy. So, you know, we're hoping that I don't get like a sneeze attack during this filming, but you know, that's why I sound a little bit stuffed up though. Yeah, I just allergies are hitting me. Those dang allergies, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. And then you know, you pop a couple of allergy pills and somehow it works for 10 minutes and then you're back to you're back to square one. Yeah. If you relate to that, <laughs> let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start with the, uh, yeah, the youngest age demographic, go to the oldest one. So the first age demographic was 0 to 16 years old, and I actually had 11 people respond that they came out from 0 to 16 years old. That's pretty good, honestly. That's a decent percentage of the 73, right? 11 people, and I was pretty surprised by that, but uh, I guess, like, you know, nowadays it is a lot more accepting for people to come out as transgender, so a lot more people are are coming out as trans at a younger age like for example when I was in school nobody was out as trans right like and recently I was just uh I was helping out with a tr presentation like a trans presentation for my dad's work and I was helping out the other guy that was doing the French office's uh presentation and he's only 16 years old too and I was like and he was telling me there's a bunch of trans people out of school so you know it's pretty cool
cool to see that, you know, coming out as trans at a younger age is getting a lot more popular and everything like that. So, you know, keep it up. You know what I'm saying? We're getting open-minded in this world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one. 17 to 18 years old. So still, um, still underage, but, you know, past the age of being able to be prescribed hormones. I know in most countries, uh, Sorry, my nose is running. Ugh. Why you gotta do this to me, nose? Okay, uh, but yeah, 17 to 18, um, you know, I know in most countries you can't be prescribed, uh, prescribed HRT until the age of 16, so I wanted to have this age demographic as well. 10 people, 17 to 18th, uh, to 18th, 17 to 18 responded in that age category. Still pretty interesting. That means that, you know, 18 and under, 21 people responded. 21 out of the 73 responses. So that's pretty crazy, honestly. Like, you know, just someone that came out in their 20s like it's just so cr uh, crazy to see and so awesome to see that so many people are coming out at a younger age 19 to 24 i would have been in this demographic as well uh 21 people obviously this was the most popular age demographic for people to come out as trans and non-binary i was kind of expecting that i know a lot of people do end up coming out in their 20s they keep it a secret and are in the closet during like high school and a little bit of college and then maybe come out during college or right after college for me it was like after college but yeah 21 people i was expecting it to be pretty popular that age demographic but yeah so totally knew that 21 people at 19 to 24 25 to 29 19 people 19 people 25 to 29 that's still pretty good that means that you know between the ages of 19 and 29 there was 40 people that came out 40 people out of the 73 responses so i feel like you know the 20s is really the prime time people come out as trans you know what i'm saying like that's like the trans time or the non-binary time <laughs> but yeah obviously i'm in that demographic as well um well i'm in the 24 but i am 25 now but uh yeah interesting really interesting that the 20s is really that prime time for trans people to come out and i feel like you know that's gonna be the most popular time for trans people to come out even as we get more accepting of trans people as well because i feel like just a lot of people do want to like they do think it think about it for a long time as well too right 30 to 34 there were six people six people came out from a uh, 30 to 34 pretty big drop compared to the 25 to 29 you know 19 people uh in their late 20s and then six people in their early 30s so you know that is a pretty big drop but it was kind of expected i guess you know not as many people i guess wait that long um, I feel like also just because it is a different um, generation, you know, some people might have different opinions around that age and they'll stay in the closet almost like forever or like till till an older age because they still think that you know it can be treated badly or it's like wrong or something like that just based on what their generation views right so 35 to 44 there was three people so it's getting even lower you know what i'm saying like getting even lower like yo where where's my where's my uh my older trans people at where you guys where you guys being like yo come on come on let's let's keep on coming out you know what i'm saying but yeah obviously i think it's the same thing generation uh generational views and everything like that but i feel like in the next couple of years we're actually going to get a lot more older trans people coming out because it is getting a lot more accepting and they're just going to be like ah fuck it you know what i'm saying 45 to 54 there's one person one person 45 to 54 obviously i kind of knew that was going to happen you know um there isn't as many older trans people as i said before because the generation kind of uh, views but i don't know hopefully i feel like you know a lot more trans people will come out at older age uh like an older middle age right and keep in mind like there's ne it's never too late to transition i feel like a lot of people think that you know once they get in their 30s it's like oh it's too late like what's the what is it worth it and it's like yeah it is worth it like you know you might not get as many effects as someone that transitioned in their night uh, in their teens or their 20s but you're still going to get a decent amount of uh you know good things from estrogen or like from medically transitioning so it's never too late to medically transition obviously or even socially transition for that matter right so we are at yeah 55 to 64 didn't have any people that was the only category that didn't have any people but you know in the end you never know like maybe in the next couple of years more people will come out you know we'll have some more some more elderly uh sam downey clan members uh because yeah honestly i do need that you know what I'm saying like i like my elderly members you know what i'm saying yo join the sam downey clan if you're older or middle-aged you know what i'm saying and then 65 plus we had two people that came out so that's pretty interesting you know what i'm saying two people 65 plus on a channel um that's uh oh sorry getting a call awkward guess i'll just hang that up 
real quick but yeah okay let's get back into it yeah 65 there was two people um to 65 which is pretty interesting to see you know even on a channel that only has like 2,000 subscribers that's pretty cool to see that there are some like you know even senior trans people that are watching my channel so you know hopefully you know in the next couple of years uh we'll we'll see a lot more of older trans people coming out because it is getting a lot more accepting overall to come out as trans right and you know let's be real 10 15 years back like it was still seen as a pretty new thing even though you know trans people have been a Around for you know literally hundreds of years right but still in like a uh, mainstream society it was seen as a new thing like yeah 10 15 years ago but yeah that's about it for this video guys thanks so much to everyone that uh that did the survey and answered and helped me out with this video i really do appreciate it i like doing videos like this if anybody has any other suggestions for like survey videos as well leave them in the comments i really do appreciate that and you know i want to do a lot more because i don't know I, I like stats you know what i'm saying like i i think you guys like stats too you know stats are cool yeah, that's the only kind of math I like, really. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out my uh, video, guys. Um, if you want to support me more, feel free to join the channel here, or you can uh, join my Patreon uh, for, I believe it's about $4 a month. Basically, all that money goes towards either my transition or getting better uh, filming equipment for my videos. But obviously, I say this uh, always, no pressure at all. I am looking to create free content for everyone. So, you know, only if you do have some extra money to spare, but no pressure or anything at all. Also, I said it before, make sure to join my discord server it's getting pretty big so you know you want to join that you can talk to me talk to other fans talk to other subscribers all that kind of stuff play games you know what i'm saying so make sure to join the discord server if you haven't already and yeah uh really besides that make sure to follow me on instagram if you guys haven't already at sam downey 44 also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel right here youtube.com slash sam downey do it right now, you say. Hit that subscribe button. Hit those notifications. Ring, ring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what's up. Okay. And yeah, that's really about it for this week, guys. Uh, thanks so much for checking out the video and checking out my channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.